By the end of this video, you're gonna know how to build your first AI agent for beginners, and the best part is you don't have to know how to code because tools like NADN or make.com are way too complex for you if you don't know how to code or don't know anything about AI agents, and the tool I'm gonna to share with you in this video is 100 times easier to use, and you can get started with it right now, building your first agent. Okay, now the tool that I'm talking about is called Relay.app, and there are two reasons that I really love this tool. First and foremost, you don't have to know how to code in order to use it, and secondly, it allows you to connect to over a hundred different apps in literally just a few seconds. So if you come over here, you could get started with relay.app for free right now, literally just by clicking here. Or if you already have an account, you can come over here and log in. And I'm gonna walk you through exactly how you could get started with this today. So we're going to log into my account right here. We'll see how simple it is to actually get going here. And what you are going to notice is all you have to do to get started here is literally just click on new workflow and then you can start actually building things out. But I did want to really simplify this for you. So a few things in the beginning. First and foremost, if you want to connect this to all of your different apps, literally just come through here, do a search for all of your different apps. For example, I have it connected to Gmail and to Google Drive, or you could come through literally the hundreds of different apps that you are going to be able to connect this to. And as you can see, there are tons and tons of things. You could connect it to QuickBooks, you could connect it to Outlook, to Jira, to Intercom, to HubSpot. If we scroll up a little more, you can connect it to things like GitHub, to Facebook ads, Eleven Labs. There are literally an unlimited amount of things here. Well, not literally unlimited, but you get the point. There are so many different things for so many different use cases that you will be able to log into right here. So you want to make sure that you do that. In addition, if you want Relay.app, the AI agents, the AI in here, to know anything specific to your company, to your brand, you can come over here and add in knowledge that it can then reference. You could add in files, text, a file in box, drop box, documents in Google Docs, files in Google Drive, spreadsheets in Google Sheets, presentation in Google Slides, or any other way that you wanna be able to add knowledge to this. Now, in order to actually get started right here, this is incredibly simple. And as you can see here, if we come to the homepage, you can see everything that you recently worked in, runs that need your attention, recent runs, you could get started with one of their templates, or they have an explore tab right here, which goes through documentation, templates, videos, and community. Now, in order to get started, we are going to click on new workflow right here. Now, now, if you're new to building out AI agents, the first thing that you need to choose is what your trigger is going to be. Now, this is what makes Relay.app very special. If you use another beginner-friendly tool like MindPal, you can't actually add in custom triggers. If you use another tool like Lindy, they have limited custom triggers, but with this app, you could do this several different ways. You could start something manually. For example, you have to come in and manually prompt it the same way that you would chat GPT. You can schedule out a run. You could do it based off of a web hook, a mail hook, or an RSS, or or you could schedule it based on different actions that can happen in other apps. For example, we are going to build out a super simple AI agent right now to help me actually automate my inbox. So we're going to click on apps right here. We're going to come in and we're going to type in Gmail. Now, after we type in Gmail right here, we'll be able to click on this and start a bunch of different triggers. For example, I'm going to do email received. So you can come in and you can decide what you actually want this to happen on. For example, email received, archived, sent, and we can do whether it's only triggered for the first email in a conversation or all of them. Now I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna add any filter, and we're gonna do a from filter. And we're gonna put emails that are from robert at queencitymediagroup.com because that is one of my email addresses. So I'm gonna put this in here. We could see is exactly. now. If we wanted to filter this in different ways, we could click on filter assistant right here and then literally just type in a message to this about what you want to do and it will go ahead and actually build out different filters for you. In addition to that, we could see all the previews right here of things that are actually going to fit this. So at this point, this is done. This is going to be triggered if we get an email from this email right here. I am now going to click done. And as we can see here, we now have an editor, we have runs, we have different stuff here. Now, if we wanted to add in another step, so step number one, this would be the trigger, email received. Now, the next step, we could have several different things happen. We could have a sequence run, an HTTP request, utilities, we could have a human in the loop if we wanted to, web scraping, we could have AI do something, we could have flow control, or we could have something else happen in another app. Now, 
what I am going to actually get this to do is I am going to have this based on this output right here, write up a response. So we're going to click on AI right here and we're going to do write text. Now, this is going to ask what we're actually writing. I'm going to select that we are writing an email. We could give this custom instructions here. So we could say something along the lines of always answer in a polite tone, but decline all requests. Now, the other thing that we could do here is we could add in things here. So data from previous steps or knowledge, we can add these in right here. So provide guidance to help the model produce content in the format that you want. We could say always answer and apply tone, but decline all requests. And then the other thing that we could do here is we could add in data from the previous step. So if we click on email right here, this is going to take into consideration the email that we received over here when this actually goes to reply to things. So for the output, we could have the model decide how long it should be, or we could decide that we could test the format right here, behavior, should a person review this? And we can also add this in right here. Now we could come over here and actually test this. So if we click on test right here, we could click on test and this will go through and we could see if this failed to run the automation because the model responded with an error. And we could come in here and we could see that this had this error right here. Now, the reason that it had this error, and I'm kind of doing this to actually show you how to build things with this is because we didn't actually come through here and we didn't actually get this to receive this text. We just tried to get it to actually give us an answer here, but that's not actually what step two should be. Step two should be summarizing whatever that past text is. So we're going to click on summarize right here, source to summarize. We're going to want to choose number one, and we're going to want to come over here into other values. So we click on email right here, come over here, and we're going to type in body. So this is going to take into consideration the body of the email, and then it's going to give a summary here. I'm going to do a few sentences, and we could see that this is actually going to happen. Now, what we want to do is we want to change this to not be number two, but instead be number three. So we're going to come over here. We're going to click on move to. I'm going to change this to number three, and we could see that these two things have now flip-flopped. So we have this summarizing, and we have this actually writing a response right here. So we could say something along the lines of, we'll come in here and delete this. We'll come in here and delete this. And it says, please write an email to, and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to get this based on this summarized text. Now, we will come down here. We're going to click on done right here. And then what we're going to get this to do is actually respond to the email. So we're going to come over here into Gmail. We're going to click right here, send email, and we're going to have it be two. It is going to be from here, wherever this is from, this email. The subject line should be whatever it is from over here. So subject line, we are going to come over here and we are going to change this to subject. And then body right here, we're going to click on this. And this is going to be the AI output from the response that we are getting over here in step number three. There's going to be no attachments, no labels, none of that. So now this is all done. Now, what we could do is we could turn this on and we could begin to actually test this out. So we're going to come over here and we're going to send a random email to my other email to show you how this actually works. So we're going to come over here. We are going to click on compose and then I'm going to write a random email to the other email. We're going to do a sponsorship request. I'm going to say, I would like to sponsor your channel. Are you open to this? So this is going to do this. We're going to click on send right here. We could come back into relay.app and we can actually watch this get triggered here. Now, it does take a few seconds for this to actually come over here and get triggered. And we could see once this is actually done, we'll be able to see this under runs right here. But if we come over here and we come back out to relay.app, we could see that I have this one live right here. We can come over here. And again, once this refreshes, we will see that this actually runs. Okay, now once this is actually run, if we come into runs right here, we could see that this run is complete. Then if we actually come back over into my inbox, we're going to see that we got this email right here. So we sent this email to my other email and then it says, sorry, I'm not interested in pursuing sponsorships at this moment. If that changes in the future, I will be sure to reach out. Now, guess what? I didn't have to make that decision. I didn't have to read this. 
I didn't have to write this email. I literally just created this automation here and then it went through and actually did it for me. And again, you don't have to do this for simple things like this. You could set this up for whatever you could think about. Okay, so now that you know how to come in here and build out your own custom AI agents, I wanted to walk through a bunch of different templates that they have here because this is pretty incredible. If you click on this right here or just come to relay.app slash gallery, you will be able to discover the world's top AI agents for things like social media, things with the human in the loop, sales, finance, AI, email, meeting, CRM, marketing, and so much more. I'm going to come back into all right here and I want to walk you through how this actually looks. So from the get-go here, when we look at these, we could see how they're actually triggered. So this one is triggered by adding in a new item. This one is triggered by starting the run manually. This one is triggered on a schedule here every Friday. If we scroll down a little bit more, we can see that this one is triggered when a new submission is added on this app right here, or this one when a new demo request is received, or this one down here when a transcript is created. So as we could see here, there are a bunch of different things here, or this one here when a meeting is actually thrown in here. So there are so many different triggers that you can build these things out for. There are so many different things that you can actually loop together, and this makes us incredibly easy for you to be able to go through and actually do things like this. For example, LinkedIn Post Writer. If we come over here, what we could see is this is going to be built like this. And what I love about this is they have YouTube videos for how each of these templates work, all the different steps. If you click on use this template, it will literally open this up in your relay and you can import it and then literally just have to add things in here and they give you notes about exactly what needs to be done here. You go through, you fill these things out and you will have literally hundreds of AI agents built out in an incredibly short period of time so that you can automate your work, you can make your life easier, even you could sell these two brands, you could sell these two businesses, you could sell these two people, just figure out what things they're struggling with, figure out how to automate it on relay.app. And then you actually go through and deliver that and build that out. And guess what's going to happen? You could get paid for building out AI agents beginning today. Once you start actually learning how to use this tool. I'm not sure if you've seen the reports yet, but Goldman Sachs just came out and said that they think in the next 12 months, AI is going to replace over 300 million jobs. So my question for you is, are you going to be one of those people that's replacing those jobs? Or are you going to be one of the people that gets replaced because you didn't embrace AI? And that's exactly why I created AI automation school that you could check out at the pinned comment below. In fact, I have special launch pricing right now. So if you want to stay ahead of what's happening in AI and you want to learn how to automate your work with AI, how to make more money with AI, how to build AI agents without knowing how to code, or you just want me to audit your personal AI workflow so we could speed things up for you, I strongly suggest that you check it out. Now, if you like this video, I strongly suggest you check out this video right here that walks you through ChatGPT's latest update that now allows you to connect it to any app or any external data source. I'll see you over there.